In this video, I'm going to quickly go over how to do some sharing and printing tasks of maps that you made in Google My Maps. So going over to our interface where you do all the editing and development of the map, if you click preview, then you'll go over here. Now from here, you can go and you can say something like share, share via Facebook, Twitter, email, embed this on your site. If you say that you want to embed this on a website, you're going to want to have to change the permissions from restricted to anyone with the link. Once you do that, you'll be able to share this out and it'll be able to be embedded. All right. So from here, you go click that again, you'll get the embed code. Awesome. So up in the right hand corner of the left side, you'll be able to do a couple more things. You'll be able to collapse the map legend. If you do that, basically it just takes it away so that that way it's just the map. If you go down to print map, if you click on this, you have all these different options to print out this map. So I'll just pick an option here. You're going to want to mess with this a little bit. You can get a PDF or an image. I'll say image. We'll do portrait. Then it'll show you exactly what it would look like. I hit this, this, this would be what the image would show. This does require a lot of tweaking because you're not necessarily going to get what you want as far as zoom levels, et cetera, unless you do this um, appropriately. So just mess around with these. Everyone's going to have a different situation. Um, so like, for instance, I'm going to go and try, I'll try to do that. And I'll say landscape. And then we'll see. So that looks like much better. And um, it actually fits. It's all on one page. It's all landscape. So this is something that you could print out and you could actually deliver, talk about in a meeting, what have you. All right, from there, you could also download the KML or the last one that I like a lot is view map in Google Earth. If you click this, this will take you to Google Earth and then you will get all of this data displayed inside of Google Earth. So here we go. Everything's in here and we can do some cool stuff now. Like we could go in and explore some 3D data with all the data that we just created in. 